thought someone stole my card and I was really freaked out because that's not good. If you shop at one popular clothing store, you're going to have to uh, check out your bank account for a possible major billing error. Forever 21 admits to Valley News Live that they have discovered what they call a processing issue that they're trying to correct. We first heard about it from a woman who called her whistleblower hotline after she shopped at Forever 21 and noticed more than $100 of extra charges. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us what happened and what you can do to get your money back. Of course, I'm going to be the one person that this happens to. While shopping with friends, Summer Petrick bought the shirt she's wearing on Saturday for $20 at Forever 21. For some reason on Saturday, it just it, everything went wrong. I went to eat out and my card was declined when I went to pay. And then I asked my mom to check my bank statements and there was an extra charge for like a hundred extra dollars on there. Petrick, the friend she was shopping with and others we spoke to found an extra charge on their bank account like this coming from the Forever 21 in Miami Beach, Florida. The lady said that since I physically didn't walk into the store, there was nothing they could do about it because it wasn't physically charged there but I wasn't in Florida. Around the country, commenters on Forever 21's Facebook page say they're upset with the way customer service handled the situation after finding the error. Yeah, my mom is really upset too because $100 is a lot of extra money, especially when you're in college. You can't afford to lose that. Forever 21 wouldn't do an interview with us, but gave us a statement saying the processing error happened on Sunday, causing certain customers to be charged too much and say they're working to reverse them. They claim no personal data has been compromised. My lady at the bank said that since it was through the system at Forever 21, I don't need to cancel my card. So my friends canceled their cards, but since there is no reason to cancel the card, no one has my card number, I don't need to cancel it. Although Forever 21 is telling customers to take a close look at their bank accounts, and if they see something suspicious, call their bank. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Forever 21 also tells Valley News Live they will answer any questions or concerns on a hotline that set up the processing company First Data. The number is at the bottom of your screen and on valleynewslive.com. Go there and click on the hot button. If you need help uncovering fraud or corruption in your community, call our whistleblower hotline 701-237-6576. Do so and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will get on the case.